Hello Wobblies, welcome to Wobbly Outer Outdoors. I'm Chris, this is Viva, and today we are looking at three different smaller water jugs that are good for preparing for an emergency. This is not a pay promotion. We purchased all these items ourselves. All the products are made of food safe materials and BPA free. When I say smaller water jugs, I mean pretty much anything that's under five gallons. And the reason that we're looking at smaller jugs is that water is heavy. One gallon of water weighs eight and a third pounds. So when you start having multiple gallons, you're talking about a lot of weight. A five gallon water jug is going to weigh around 42 pounds, just the water itself. And then you add the size of the container or the weight of the container, and you're going to go over the 42 pounds. Five gallon jugs and larger, there's nothing at all wrong with having them. They're great to store a lot of water in a single container, very cost effective. And if you don't need to leave your house, that's perfect. The reason we're looking at the smaller jugs is if you need to evacuate, you can take your water supply with you. For emergency water supply, the Red Cross recommends that you have three days worth for evacuation that you can take with you and if you need to shelter in place, that you have 14 days worth of a water supply. And a day's worth of water is one gallon per person. To help keep numbers manageable, we are going to talk about just one person and one person's supply. So if one person needs to evacuate, they need to have three gallons of water with them. Their emergency water supply at home for that one person will be 14 gallons. When you're making your plan, always remember to consider and account for your critters and their water needs. The three jugs we're looking at are the water brick. It has a three and a half gallon capacity. By Hudson Exchange, their 2.5 gallon jug. And by Red Camp, their 2.6 gallon jug. Theirs is collapsible. Right off the bat, for your emergency water storing, I'm going to suggest that you have the water in the containers prior to the emergency. Don't try to wait until the emergency is upon you. For each of the items, this is how it looks when you receive it. The water brick is our emergency water storage container of choice. We have 20 of them, and we have had them for six years. The Hudson Exchange water jug is a really nice little jug and we purchased it for this video because it is a nice contender. The Red Camp water jug we purchased also for this video as something that can be seen as a more lower cost entry into emergency water storage. The water brick and the Hudson Exchange are all ready, but we need to expand our little Red Camp. When you first receive your container, be sure to wash it out thoroughly before filling it with water. And if you're going to store water for a long period of time, as for an emergency, then you want to treat it with something to help prevent bacteria growth. I'll put links down in the description to sources of information for how to properly treat water for long-term storage. The three and a half gallon water brick is made of high density polyethylene. The two and a half gallon container by Hudson Exchange is made of high density polyethylene and the little 2.6 gallon container by Red Camp is made of light density polyethylene. 
When empty, the water brick weighs 2.52 pounds. When it's full of water, it weighs 31.7 pounds. The average wall thickness of the water brick is 3 30 seconds of an inch. The internal diameter of the opening of the water brick is 3 inches. Its dimensions are 9 inches wide by 18 inches long by 6 inches high. When empty, the Hudson Exchange container weighs 2.3 pounds. When it's full of water, it weighs 23.1 pounds. Its dimensions are 9 and a quarter inches high by 9 and 3 quarter inches wide by 11.875 inches long. The internal diameter of its opening is 1.875 inches. The first air release hole I made in the Hudson Exchange container didn't do anything to help, it was too small. So I made a larger one using a 9 64 inch bit and that seemed to work better. Did it? No work luck, luck. When empty, the red camp weighs half a pound. When it's full of water, it weighs 22.2 pounds. Its dimensions are 11 inches by 7.9 by 7.9 inches. No leaks. The internal diameter of its opening is 2 inches. So how many of each of these containers would you need if you were going to evacuate or to shelter at home? For one person, for evacuation you would need one water brick. The three and a half gallons covers what you'll need for three days. For both the Hudson Exchange and the Red Camp, you would need to take two containers with you in case of an evacuation to be sure you would have at least three gallons of water for three days. For emergency water supply at home of the water brick, you would need four of them for each the Hutchin Exchange and the Red Camp, you would need six. So let's look at cost. For the water brick, if you purchase them through waterbrick.com, the prices are much better than if you purchase them through Amazon. On the waterbrick.com website, the water bricks come in either packs of two or packs of ten, and either way, you end up spending about $18 per container. For Hudson Exchange through Amazon, a single two and a half gallon container is $28. If you purchase a pack of four, the price is $22.50 each. For the little Red Camp 2.6 gallon container, the price is $10 a jug. So let's convert that into what you need if you're going to evacuate. So evacuating, you're going to need just one water brick. That's $18. For evacuating using the Hudson Exchange jug, since you need two of them, the cost is $45. For the Red Camp, the cost of evacuation is $20. So how about the cost for the stay at home supply, the 14 days per person? The water brick, you need four of them, and the cost is $72. For the Hudson Exchange, you need six of them, and the cost is $135. For the Red Camp, you also need six of them, and the cost is $60. So of the three, the two week supply, the two least expensive are the Water Brick and the Red Camp. The Water Brick coming in at $72, and the Red Camp coming in at $60, just $12 less. How about stackability? How are you gonna store them? The Water Bricks are made with bumps on one side and indentations on the other. They are made to lay horizontally on top of each other and stack. The manufacturer says you can stack them four feet high in that configuration safely. Hudson Exchange says that you can stack their jugs four high. They have ridges on the top as well as the handle and then on the bottom, they have little indentations and a place for the handle. So that makes them somewhat stable and a little bit interlocking.
to help keep them more secure when they're stacked. For the red camp, I don't see any way to actually stack them. Regarding leaks, we've had six years experience with the water bricks and at home they are laying down flat, stacked on top of one another, so there is a potential for leaks because the water is up against the lid. And at home with them in storage like that, we've never experienced a leak. When we take them camping, we will carry them standing up and we don't experience any leaks when carrying them that way. We did experience a leak with a water brick when we went camping one time and had it laid on its side during transit. I don't know if we didn't have the lid tightened up well enough or if it got jostled and bumped the lid during transit and loosened it. One of the nice things about the Hudson Exchange is that even in storage and when stacked, the lid is on the top. And that's also the case with the little red camp. Regarding temperature tolerances, Water Brick says that their materials are stable for up to 168 degrees Fahrenheit and down to a minus 104 degrees Fahrenheit. For the Hudson Exchange water container, I could only find in the answers to questions on Amazon that the high end is they can tolerate 160 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't have a low number for the Hudson Exchange and I didn't find any temperature tolerances for the little red camp. Okay, let's talk a little bit about accessories. For the water brick, you can purchase a spigot and basically how that works is quite straightforward. You remove the solid lid and replace it with the spigot lid. Sometimes we have experienced some subtle leaks dripping with the spigot lid. So whenever we have a spigot attached, we just have the water brick standing up on end. Also for the water brick, you can purchase replacement lids, replacement gaskets, and replacement handles. For the Hudson Exchange, you can purchase the replacement lids and inside each lid, it has a nice gasket. The little red camp comes with a built-in spigot, and I don't know that you can purchase any replacement parts for it. Because of its durability, price point, and secure stackability, we have chosen, obviously, the water brick as, as our choice. And in researching for this video, I've been pleasantly surprised in how well the cost comparison is between the water brick and the Hudson Exchange. I think the Hudson Exchange is a very good choice, but when you start getting large multiples of at least this size, their little two and a half gallon size, then the water brick does shine in the price comparison for what you get. Down in the comments, let us know what you think. What are you using for your emergency water storage? Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time.